Mm -hmm. I am Dan Colville with Colville Outfitters. I'm going to demonstrate how to do a crossbody Wallace cast and a traditional Wallace cast. I'll first start off with the traditional Wallace cast, which comes across your arm this way. The crossbody Wallace cast comes across your body this way. So this is your traditional Wallace cast. So what you want to make sure is you want to make sure you have about five or six feet to your float to create a pendulum effect where you can swing the float back and forth. That will help load the rod and that will also help kick the bait out. So pretty much now once I have my pendulum, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the line with two fingers down like so. And I'm going to stay at the bottom of the reel until I come forward to pull down. It's very similar to a double haul cast in fly fishing. So once you get the timing with coming forward and pulling down on the reel, it's a very simple cast. So I'm going to take my two fingers and come down. I'm going to stay at the bottom of the reel. I'm going to come back and I'm going to keep my stopper finger here until I'm ready to come forward. So once I'm back, I'm going to take my finger off the reel. And then I'm going to come forward, pull down, throw the line out. And if you notice, I use my bottom fingers as a guide to let the line run out through the first guide. Again, I'll do that one more time for you. I got five or six feet from the tip of my rod to my float. I'm gonna go behind my arm, behind my shoulder, stay at the bottom of the reel the whole time. I come back and as I come forward, I pull down and slow it, slow the float down right before it hits the water so the bait kicks out in front of everything. Oh! <laughs> so that's another one. I'm gonna shallow up a little bit because it seems like the fish are sitting in that dead water over there. Thinking they're bass, Lake Erie run bass. Could be a dropback steelhead if we're lucky. All right, now I'm gonna demonstrate a crossbody Wallace cast, which is gonna come across this way. So it's the same basic principle. You got your pendulum. So once you're here, you're pretty much, you're able to get a further distance with this cast because instead of coming from here to there, you're coming across your full body to let it, to let it cast or to load the rod. So you're here. I don't know what it was, but. If you notice too, when I drift, I'm always gonna keep a little bit of tension on my spool slow down my spool so my float is angled up towards me. And this way the bait always leads the way in front of the rest of the terminal tackle below the float. So the same finger that I slowed the reel down with the cast is the same finger that I'm slowing the spool down while I'm drifting. Today we're fishing a CPR custom rod, newly designed 13 foot four piece three power, rated five to 10 pound, and we're fishing a five inch American Glory Escape 5.0. I'm casting upriver. Traditionally, when you center pin fish, you want a quarter cast down from you so your bait already settles. But I'm trying to hit that seam up there where the soft water meets the fast water where all the bass and steel have been sitting. gets below me, I'll let it start to free spool. And again, I'll keep tension on it, so my float is slightly angled up towards me. And I'll 
I'll do one more crossbody Wallace cast so you guys can see that as well. So again, this cast is what I do 90% of the time. You can do it in really short areas. You don't need much distance to swing the rod. You don't typically have to come behind you, although you can if you need to cast further. So with this cast, I'm just gonna come across my body, throw it out like so. If you notice, I keep my hand below the reel the whole entire time and it acts like a guide for the line to come out. So when you slow down your reel, this is called trotting the reel or trotting the float. And when you pause the reel like so to let your bait swing all the way out and rise in the water co column, that's called checking your bait or checking your reel. real slow motion so you can see how it works. So I'm here, I have my pendulum. me because I'm casting up river which typically we don't want to do but I'm fishing a uh, odd circumstance here. And it's pretty windy today so you pretty much want to always have your tip down towards the rock or down towards the water so look here. 